So after download, open the directory of your Xiaomi Yi or the SD card. As you can see here with the DCM and MISC media folder, it contains all the files that have been shoot with the Xiaomi Yi. What you're going to do first is copy and paste the file into the directory, where we're going to unzip it with WinRAR or 7-zip. That's up to you. So after the unzipping is finished, you can delete the file, but don't need to. So what we're first going to show is here the readme text. I really recommend to read it because it contains all information about the C mode that can be used here with the Xiaomi Yi. So really read it. Next thing is going to show the scripts and the Buddha D. The Buddha D location here in the scripts has all the scripts from C mode. For example, here's the C mode night with all the bitrate and resolution, corrections photo, corrections video, and other kind of stuff settings that enhance the footage and shooting experience with the Xiaomi Yi. And also two customs if you want to use your own settings. Next thing we're going to show is to change languages. For example, we're going to change it to German, open the German folder and copy and paste the file to the root, that means to the top folder where all the other files are located. So what you're going to do now here is copy and paste it into and as you can see XYZ strings has been placed here. This means the file is now going to look every time for this file for the translation. And now one big problem, the Photoshop can read the raw files from the Xiaomi Yi. What we need to do is to convert them into a DNG file. To do this, we open the folder raw to DNG and open the file. Now we're going to open the file raw here and convert it into DNG. Waiting and you see successful going back. And now you can see that a DNG file has been created, which can be read by Photoshop. Of course, the DNG file is not as big as a normal WAV file, but it's still bigger than a normal JPG, JPG file. So that's all you need to do for the installation. And now we're hitting over for the second. After the installation, I'm going to show how to use C mode 2. You know the Xiaomi Yi has three light indicators, three main line indi light indicators. That is here at, uh, near the power button, on the top near the shutter button, and on the side near the Wi-Fi button. So I'm going to turn it this way so you can see the three buttons and light indicators. To choose a script or to load a script, you need to hold the shutter button on the top. I mean you need to keep pushing it. So what I'm going to do now is I push it and I keep pressing it. Then I'm going to turn this uh, camera on. And as you can see it boots normally. Now we wait till the light here goes on. And it's on. Now I press 1 two and as you can see this one goes on three this one when it's go on it means the push has been registered now the xiaomi is going to reboot and it is rebooting and now we're only waiting for the long beep that indicates the script has been loaded and after the script, the power button uh, LED is going to flash several times to show which script has been loaded. So, one, two, three. Now we know the third script has been loaded. Another thing I want to show is when we turn off the camera, and for example, we have just loaded the third script, and we want to reuse the script. So you don't need to load the script every time because it is uh, registered right now. The only fair time you need to use the shutter button is to, uh, to load another script. So right now we can simply turn on the camera as normal and the third script which has been loaded previously is going to reload because Xiaomi camera has registered this. 
waiting for the long beep. There it is. And as you can see, one, two, and three. Now we know the third script has been loaded again. So what we're going to use now is the XYC configurator, which is new for the C mode. What we're going to do now is we need to turn on the Wi-Fi because the XYC configurator is used with an app or with a mobile that can, uh, that can edit the auto execute ash. The auto execute ash is the file inside the Xiaomi Yi that tells the Xiaomi Yi what to do next or which settings should be set next to the next video or to the next photo. So what we're going to do now is we turn on the Wi-Fi as long as um, when the Wi-Fi LED starts to flash, we know the Wi-Fi is on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to connect it. Mine is already connected with the YDXJ. And we're going to use a Telnet app. I'm going to use mobile Telnet. I tell you don't use the normal Telnet because that doesn't function. So mobile Telnet, we're going to open it. And yeah, just give me a second. I'm going to relaunch it so you have it as you would get it when previously installed. So right now we're going to open it and we're going to Telnet settings. And here you need to input the host name or IP address of the Xiaomi Yi. That is in this case 192.168.42.1 and the Telnet port should be 23. So what we're going to do now is OK and we're going to connect. The build with login is in this case the root. And then we need to lo uh, go to the location where all our scripts are uh, stored. So in this case, the second thing you're going to type in is slash TMP for temporary slash fuse underscore D slash XYC punct dot SH and then send. Just going to put this one away and now we wait a little bit and then you can see it loads. Now we have here the ability to use several settings here from the menu like view the current auto execute ash which means view the current settings. Edit camera settings, edit photo settings, edit video settings, create time-lapse scripts, create HDR script, manage XYC presets. In this case the XYC presets are other scripts from other contributor, other authors, camera utils, reset all settings, restart camera, update XYC and exit. So for example, right now we have our script loaded from C mode. And I'm going to show that by loading zero. And as you can see, these are all the settings from C mode night, which has been previously loaded by the three times script indicator to show us it was C mode night because it's the first scape. So what we're going to do now is when we're on the one and we want to edit some settings because it fits to our current needs or we need to fit it to our current needs, we're going for example to edit video settings so we simply press free and set it to our camera. So for example noise reduction 5120 is a little bit high for me so why not simply reduce a little bit. So we send one and then we got here several options and yeah 5120 was a little bit high so we go down to 1024 that is in this case the free and we're going to send free and there we go now we have 1024 uh, set and what we're going to do next is we're going back to the menu simply press zero you see the auto execute is going to written and back we are and when we load the auto execute ash 
you can see that the script from previously has been loaded. Oh, not from previously, but another script. This is the main script from uh, XYC Configurator, but that is also made because you completely tell what should be inside the script. So it's nothing from C mode that's going to be loaded here. So it's only made to configure it 100% by yourself. C mode is presets mode, which can only be edited on the PC. So if you want to edit several settings, do it by PC. If you don't know how to do it, simply use Telnet if, it, if you need something that fits your, yeah, your needs currently. So after you have edited all your things here, don't, I really say don't push restart camera because your Xiaomi uh, is going to freeze. What you're going to do is you uh, take your Xiaomi and simply reboot it by yourself. So power button off and power button on. Now it's only going to load your Telnet settings here. One long beep, and as you can see, there are no light indicators like flashing light indicators right now to show which script has been loaded.